Public safety leaders in Charlton are raising an alarm about the condition of their buildings. From water leaks to not having enough space, the fire and police department say they need upgrades. Our Roslyn Flaherty joins us now with more on the effort to take the issue to the town's voters. Roslyn? Brittany, the departments want to build a public safety complex to have both in one place. They say it's difficult to do their job now with what they have. We've actually had to carve out of the foam insulation just to make sure that the truck will fit in the building. Charlton Fire Chief Edward Knopf shows us just one of the many issues his department is facing. They have three separate buildings because their headquarters isn't big enough for some of their trucks. So in some cases, firefighters have to run across the street or drive to get their equipment. Extremely challenging. Uh, where we are right now, we have our heavy rescue truck, which is stationed up at the other station. So if we get a big motor vehicle wreck, on the Mass Pike or on Route 20, we have to send somebody up to go get that piece of apparatus. The police department is experiencing building issues too. There's water leaking in this cell right here, so that cell is going to be shut down because we're not going to be able to utilize it. Sergeant Keith Cloutier says their building built in 1991 didn't take into consideration the new technology. He says if the phone is ringing, dispatchers have just seconds to use the bathroom because it's across the station. Another problem is the space, especially in the lobby where child exchanges happen and sex offenders register. We don't have any meeting rooms off of that to be able to say separate people. So the child that's waiting to exchange with the parent is sitting next to the person that's coming in to register as a sex offender because we actually don't have a place to put them. There is an effort to build a new public safety complex, which could look like this. Both fire and police say it will make their job easier. The committee working on the project doesn't have a cost yet, but will present the design at a town meeting in May. And it will be up to the town to decide if they want to fund it. We're bursting at the seams here. We've got trucks that we don't have to special order anymore. That would be a cost savings to the town. In the amount of cost that it would take to upgrade the police station to bring it to a modern standard, it made sense to instead look at uh, a public safety complex, building it all as one. The proposed site is right next to the, next to the police station. Again, they will present the final design in May. Roslyn Flaherty, Worcester News Tonight.